Today I'm going to show you how you can use PowerPoint to record a video. Now there are two main recording options that you have in PowerPoint. One option is a screen recording. For example, you need to create documentation for your users on how to use one of your Excel files. It's sometimes easier to record the steps and explain these verbally than to have to type everything out. Now, another recording option is to record your slideshow. Here you also have the opportunity to record your webcam and explain the slides as you go through them. There are a lot of great hidden options there, which I'm going to walk you through. Now, both versions can be kept in your PowerPoint presentation, or you can create standalone media files from them. There is also a hidden recording tab in PowerPoint that not many people know of. Let me show you. Okay, so first let me show you this hidden recording tab. Just right mouse click somewhere on your ribbon, customize the ribbon. Now down here on the right hand side, you're going to see recording and it's unchecked. Place a check mark beside it and click on OK. Now we can see the recording tab in our ribbon. This brings together the different recording options that you have in PowerPoint. So for example, screen recording is an option you can get to from the insert tab and you're going to see it under media screen recording. If you don't have the recording tab, this is how you need to get to screen recording. If you wanted to do a recording of your slides, you'd have to go to slideshow and record slideshow. What the recording tab does is it brings together these different options in one place. You also have the option to save everything as a slideshow, export to video, add screenshots, video, audio, and so on. Let me first show you how screen recording works. Okay, so I've opened a new presentation and it's a presentation about how to use an Excel dashboard. To this presentation, I want to add a screencast. Imagine this has a few slides, it has some little instructions, and this slide is going to contain a screencast. For this, I can go to the new recording tab and use screen recording. Now, before I click on this, in case you're new here, welcome. And in case you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, do consider subscribing, especially if you want to improve your office skills. Okay, so let's click on screen recording. Now I'm going to get this pop up here. I have the ability to record my pointer. So in this case, I want to, so I'm going to select that. I want to record my audio and I want to select the area that I want to record because otherwise it's going to record my whole screen. Now for the area, I'm actually planning to record this part here. I want to record this Excel workbook. So I'm going to click on select area and then carefully select the area around this. Now I'm all set and ready to start recording. Of course, you want to practice a little bit before you do the recording. In this case, we're just going to go with the flow. Okay. So now I'm recording this, so I'm going to be careful about what I want to say. This is the Excel dashboard that you're going to be using. We have different tabs. A really great tab is instructions, so make sure you read this. Now, what you need to do when you open this is click on data, go and click on refresh all. Now, if you get this error, which could happen, contact IT, okay? Contact your IT department. Thank you for watching. Okay, so now to actually stop this, you can either go back to the menu here and you can stop the recording or there was a shortcut key, which was Windows Shift Q. So you can use that as well. And it's going to stop the recording and it's going to bring your screencast directly in your PowerPoint slide. So you can adjust this how you like. I'm just going to test this out. Okay, so now I'm recording this, so I'm going to be careful about what I want to say. This is the Excel dash. Okay, so as you can see, everything was recorded, but of course I don't want the beginning and I don't want the very end. You can easily make these adjustments. Just go to the playback options here and select trim video. Here you have the ability to trim the part that you don't want from the beginning. So I think it was until here. Let's just play and check. This is the Excel. Okay, that sounds good. So that's where I started. And I think that ending part I don't want. Or there was a shortcut key, which was, okay, I definitely don't want that part here. And you can stop the recording. Yeah, I think it was somewhere here. Thank you for watching. Okay, yeah, so this part, let's add 
the thank you as well. So that's the only part that I want to keep. I'm going to click on OK and it's going to trim the video to only that part. So check this out. This is the Excel dashboard that you... OK, so that seems good. Now you have additional options here. You can adjust the volume. You can add this looping option or rewind after playing. Now you also have the ability to play this in full screen mode. So right now, if I switch to slideshow, this is the Excel dashboard that you're I can going to see be my using. slide and I see my video as a part of this. If I go back and place a check mark here, play full screen, and I go back to slideshow. This is the Excel dashboard that it's going to play it in full screen. OK, now, in addition to this, you also have other options under video format. You can crop the screen size. So if you recorded too much of the screen and you want to crop this, you have the ability to do it now as well. Just select crop, make your adjustments and then click on crop again. You can also add a different video style to this if you want add borders, make corrections, and so on. If you want this to be a standalone media file, just right mouse click and save media as. This is going to save it as an MP4 file and you can load this on YouTube or just save it on your drive. Okay, so that's how you can add a screencast recording to your slides. Now, next up, we're going to take a look at how we can add a slideshow recording to our slides. OK, so now I have another presentation open and to this presentation, I want to add a recording of the slideshow. So the difference here is that I'm going to be recording my narration and any annotations that I make to the slides as I talk about these slides. Then I can produce this as a separate MP4 file or I can produce this as a slideshow. When I send this to someone else, they're going to open it and they're going to see the slides together with my narration, together with my annotations, right? So it's going to be me walking them through the slides without me being live. It's going to be a recording. Now, you can also use this to practice before a big presentation. OK, so I just have two slides here and the first slide has some notes that I want to read as I'm narrating. To get to the record slideshow option, you can go to slideshow here and you're going to see it right here. And if you've added the recording tab, like I showed at the beginning of the video, you're going to see it right here. OK, so when you're ready, click on this and either select record from current slide or record from beginning. Now, I just have two slides. I want to record both of them. So I'm going to go and record from current slide. Now, when I click on this, we are going to come to this view. If you have your camera activated, you're going to see it here. You have the ability to turn it off. You can also turn off your microphone. But in this case, we want them on. Under settings here, you can decide which microphone or which camera is in use. Now, remember, for this slide, I had some notes and I want to read the notes as I'm narrating this. The great thing is that no one is going to see this in the end. So this is not going to be recorded in the final outcome. It's only for me to see and to see it better. I'm going to increase the font size. Now to start the recording, you can click on this or use the shortcut key R to stop. Click on this or use the shortcut key S and you can replay your recording just to check if it was OK or not. If you need to re-record something. Now, the great thing about this is that you can record all your slides, everything in one go. So you can do the recording, move on to the next slide, just continue with your recording. And what's going to happen is that separate files are going to be created for each slide. This is great because check this out. You can clear a recording from a current slide. So in case you are unhappy with the way you recorded one or two or three of the slides, you can just replace those. You don't have to clear recordings on all the slides, right? Which is great, especially if you have a big slideshow and you know you don't want to start from scratch. OK, now next options that you have are the ability to use these annotation tools. So you can use the laser pointer. You can use the pen or the highlighter. Now, anything that you use is going to be recorded. Right. So you're going to be recorded here. What you're going to say is going to be recorded and anything that you do on the slide, any annotations that you make are going to be recorded as well. OK, so we're ready. 
to record. I'm going to read my notes. Let me just prepare what I want. I want the highlighter. And let's start the recording. I'm going to use the shortcut key R. <clears throat> okay. We are recording. <clears throat> Total volume is expected to be above budget. Now, Europe is performing well due to high productivity and shorter shutdowns. Asia, on the other hand, is facing significant delays from subscribers, from suppliers, not subscribers. Um, okay, well, we can do this later. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Our next steps, we need to celebrate, right? That's what we need, and we definitely need to plan the next celebration. Thank you for watching. Okay, not R, wrong shortcut. I need to press S to stop. Okay, so now that we did this, okay, let's take a look at the replay of this one. Our next steps, we need to celebrate, right? That's what we need, and we definitely need to plan the next celebration. Thank you for watching. Okay, not all. Okay, so that was that was the replay. Um, it's it's not very flattering, but I think we can we can deal with that, right? We can trim the end. Now the other one, let's um, take a look. I think we definitely okay. need to redo this one, right? So this is where this comes into play. You can clear recordings on the current slide. And if you see it grayed out, it's because you haven't clicked on stop. So I'm in replay mode. The moment I click on stop, I can go back to clear and clear recording on the current slide. This is gonna clear it, so now we're back here we can start the recording once again. Okay, so let's just record something really fast. Nothing fancy. Okay, so Europe is expected to be above budget. Asia is facing significant delays from suppliers. So let's say I'm happy with that. We want to keep that. Everything is done. We are just going to close this. Now we get our video on each slide. We have the ability to play the video and see what we say. Okay, so Europe is expected to be above budget. Asia is facing significant delays from suppliers. Okay, so if you want to trim parts of this, you can. So you can go to playback here and trim the video. Okay, so you can trim the end or the beginning. Let's go with okay. And the same here. Right, so where we messed up in the end, you can easily just trim that. Let's just end with that awkward look and OK. OK, so you have all the options that we saw before. Now, if I go to presentation mode okay, here, so you can see my annotations as well. Asia is facing significant delays from suppliers. OK, so that's how you can record your slideshow. Now, how about producing this? Well, if we go to recording here, we have different options. We can save this as a show or export to video. Let's try export to video first. I want to use the recorded timings and narrations, and let's go and create this video. This is going to create an MP4 file, so I'm just going to save it here. Click on Save. Now, we can see it being generated down here. It's going to take a while, so the bigger your presentation, the longer this process is going to be. Okay, so the MP4 version is finished. I can see it right here when I open this. Okay, so Europe is expected to be above budget. That's what we need, and we definitely need to plan. Thank you for We can see my annotations here. I didn't use that much, and we can see my narration down here. Okay, so that's how we can produce a video. Now, saving this as a show is going to save this type of format, a PPSX PowerPoint presentation. This means that when others open the file, it's going to immediately start in slideshow mode rather than edit mode. Let's test this out as well and save this as a PPSX file. I'm going to save. Let's just close everything. I saved it right here. The moment someone opens this, they double click it, it's going to open okay, in so this mode. Europe is expected to be above budget. Asia is facing significant. And they can go through my slides this way. Okay, so these are the different options you have when you record your slideshow. I hope you enjoyed this comprehensive tutorial. 
please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already and I'm gonna see you in the next video.